this one here is um, this one's just called Poem it hasn't got a title yet okay. um, it's a true story uh, you probably heard about it on the news it goes exactly like this there's a tiger in the zoo that won't stop talking in fact he's quite verbose he's an alpha male tiger he's a ferocious beast he's called Stephen his first words were a cheery greeting his second asked what time his dinner was due his third asked if he could set up a twitter account his fourth was to politely decline an offer to appear on celebrity big brother he was taken to lunch by a bbc producer and shocked everyone by ordering ordering marinated oven bait gazelle drummers Reports came in from Andover of a badger which spoke in a cockney rhyming slang, but they were just trying to cash in, because nothing much has ever happened in Andover, I mean, not really. There was much discussion among philosophers on how in one act Stephen the Tiger had managed to make all the other tigers seem really boring. David Attenborough said, Typical, you wait all your life for the animals to speak and then you can't shut them up. Scientists from Geneva undertook various tests in order to ascertain what the hell was going on. According to his DNA, Stephen was just a normal tiger, and to prove it, he ate one of the scientists. A vicar from Bournemouth saw him as an omen of some kind of polite Armageddon, or at least proof of omniscience. He said, I believe that you exist. The tiger said, knock knock. The vicar said, who's there? The tiger said, a tiger. The vicar said, a tiger who? The tiger said, so I have just disproved all of your theories, and then he ate him. The only thing that comes close to this was an elephant in 1932, but it mumbled in the most part and sounded very nasal and never said anything terribly interesting, and it borrowed a fiver from my uncle and didn't pay it back. It wasn't such an eloquent elephant. I went to the doctor. I said, Doctor, people keep thinking I'm former French foreign minister Dominique de Villepin, and the doctor said it might help if you take off the name badge. Twitter went mad. Hashtag conversational tiger. Hashtag rather pleasant big cat. Hashtag orange stripey anecdotage. Growly teeth. Snarly vicious vicious verbosity. Hashtag slightly camp when you think about it. Posh tiger dot com. Probably against the laws of nature dot com. Press the red button now to see it holding court with Richard Dawkins and Stephen Hawking and Claire Balding endorsing warthog soup and prime rib of zebra tiger tiger burning bright in neon on a saturday night with a cheesy grin and a thumbs up advertising j arthur boa's synchro boost house plant compost and he's standing in for ken bruce all next week on radio 2 he went on panorama he went on qi he told a very funny joke about a council planning enforcer you really had to be there he mauled joe pasquale and was roundly applauded he went on question time and made some comments which won him favorable remarks from the daily mail then he spontaneously combusted the end <laughs> so that was that was a true story I can if you like. Yes, this is a very short one. Um, it's 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 um, it's a true story again. Mm -hmm. um, it's called poem. I haven't given it a title yet, so it's just called poem. Um, it goes exactly like this. I watched the film Titanic. The boat sank. I watched the film Titanic. The boat sank. I watched the film Titanic again, and the boat sank again. I watched the film Titanic. It was three hours long. It only took the Titanic two hours to sink, so that's one hour of faffing around. At the start of the film, a man kept saying that the Titanic is unsinkable. The Titanic is unsinkable. The Titanic is unsinkable. Unless water cascades over the separating watertight bulkheads. And then, one hour into the film, water cascaded over the separating watertight bulkheads. It sank. Iceberg right ahead is what the iceberg spotter said the moment he spotted an iceberg, which was kind of his job. At least someone was on the ball that night. Like a gin and tonic, the Titanic went down well with ice, although it was probably quite a horrific event. I mean, really. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, it's always good to make a comedic poem about... 
disaster. A hideous disaster. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm flavoured to it now. Okay, this is called Poem, and it's got a cowbell in it. Okay. I'm in love with a monk. His name is Brother Aloysius. I think he's delicious. Mm. Whenever I get in a funk, I think of my monk sifting through all of life's junk with his services and devotions, which he's not allowed to bunk. What with being a monk? He's such a hunk. He's the hottest thing in the history of the monastery. I mean, in all honesty, I'd rather be with he or she than Stoke City FC's Ryan Shawcross, who's also a hunk. Last Thursday, I crammed myself into a crate and mailed it to the monastery, but they delivered it in error to a canoe warehouse. Did you think? Did you enjoy the, the lamp cowbell? I think it added something to it, but it needed some something as well as cowbells. It needed I think. me to stop. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is a brand brand new poem about moths. Um, every night they come, the moths, like the ghosts of daytime's butterflies, powdery in their nocturnal sneakiness. I'm okay with moths, but Ian freaks out, bats them, shudders, gets all high-pitched and whiny like a really camp donkey, realising there's no more fairy cakes left. Ian freaks out. The moths circle my bedroom lamp, satellites around a really rubbish planet which has frilly bits and a faded pattern of fuchsias. I don't know what's so fascinating. Is it sexual? Can moths go in moth newsagents and buy light bulb magazines going all coy when they're discovered sneakily looking at the Focus lampshade webpage? Ian read somewhere that they can be frightened away with large posters of film star Hayden Christensen. His room is festooned with posters of film star Hayden Christensen. In defiance of his notion, the moths have already started eating his poster of film star Hayden Christensen. Christensen. They tap against the window. Tip tap, tippity tap. Tap tap, tappity tap. Tap tap, to tap tap. Plinky plonky tap, plunk plink. Tap tap, to tap tap tap. Tip tap, tip tap, tap tap, tippity tap tap. Tap tap tap. 